Hello there everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. Alright now, we're at war with the Japanese, but more importantly, we're at war with the uh also Filipinos, no the Lithuanians, because Lithuania, it's alright. I think it just looks a lot better with us in charge over there, so we'll take them out, we'll go to the polls, and we'll probably do some more Belarusian stuff, but it looks like they got some communists and some Polish patriots here. And Russian patriots. You know it's bad if you live in Belarus and a bunch of Russian Patriots rise up and want to go back home to Russia, so. Uh, the thing about the Japanese here, I'm not really concerned about it, since once we get the land done and taken, everything taken care of, they'll piece us out eventually, so. And for this one, I've got to keep an eye on this one, because Guatemala defaults or any, when a country defaults here, I usually choose the middle one, but it gives you infamy, so. Um, yeah, no. I don't want any infamy, so. It is what it is, we'll blockade them, we'll have a good old time, I'm not really worried about this at all. Uh, 16,000 are gone, so be it, so be it. And... We've got one of them done. Thank you. Oh, hello. Lombardia. Lombardia's been... It's been very weird. Lombardia's been one of the greatest allies we've had in this campaign so far. I initially never wanted to release them, but... I'm kind of glad I did. They've done great for us. They've done tr truly tremendously great. So, it's been weird that... that it, 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 it's extremely tiny. It's a very, very small amount of Italy. It's so small. Yet, they've been doing just wondrous for us. Look at that. They sent 90,000 men. Now, they sent... Infantry, just infantry, which I think is a mistake, but they showed up. It's, I don't know what else to say. It's awesome. It's really, really awesome. 13,000 Lithuanians are gone, but that's okay. We got some better supply limit with, what was it, industry? Synthetic polymers. It's 1913, of course. Let's do this one next. Um, and after this, we're going to just max out on the Navy. We got to go all Navy after this, because at this point, we're gearing up for the war to end all wars. We've already had a great war, but we haven't had the great war that involves the United Kingdom, number two in the world. We're number one, as we Germans should be, but, all right, they're done. Um, they'll probably give us a piece of deal. Uh, there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, of course, the Japanese want to do that, too. Ooh, would you look at this? I didn't know this was a thing. Integrate Lithuania into the Baltic states. Although not considered a part of the Baltic states proper, Lithuania is small enough to be added to the Baltic administration. This wouldn't please the Lithuanians at all, and the only way it can be done is through force, but it would make managing our Baltic allies a little easier. I never knew this was a thing. We get, oh, we get infamy. I don't want that. Lithuanian is an accepted culture there, though. Um, cool. Influence of the Baltic states increases. We get one infamy, but I like that idea. I like that a lot, actually. The Suez has not been founded yet. What is this? The truce with them. Okay. Oh. Oh, we get them in a, oh, we need to vassalize them. Organize Laos. Okay. Well, we need, at least for this one, let's get that one country under us. And I want to do at least new Schwanstein. We need... Oh, Romanticism, duh. Well, that gives some more prestige. Expressionism, just a lot of the text we haven't done yet. So, National Banking Act, we'll see what we can do about this. Overall, not too bad. I mean, we're still a constitutional monarchy, and our value is autocracy, which is very cool. It hurts our literacy impact, and our social and political reform desire, I should really say, but helps lower uh, militancy, which is pretty nice. But so far, not too bad. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, okay. So, they got Pinsk. We lost this part of Pinsk then. Oh, okay. So, we owned that earlier, because I wanted it. I wanted, like, this part of Belarus, but it didn't happen. Um, okay, that makes it a little uglier. But at the same time, I'm actually really pleased about this. Can we... I don't think there's a way for us to do it, but I would love it to see if there's a way to Germanize the Baltic area. Because I'm seeing a little slivers of Germans here. 2% North German. You got 12% North German. You got 8% there. Of course, Riga's got a good minority of almost 20% Germans there. So, I, I hope someday uh, that we would be able to see... Like, some way to Germanize it, at least a little bit, at least starting to, like, really enforce, you know, assimilation and whatnot. But, hey, it is what it is. And also, I just want to show you the rest of the world. Romania is split in two still, which is really very extremely weird. Russia or the Soviet Union is allied to us, but they have a lot of reactionaries and fascists, and they're, they're not having a good time. They're just, they're at war. Okay, what, what's going on over here? Hold on. Oh, no, they mobilized. Um, yeah. Hmm. And then Dutch. We really hampered the Dutch home, but they're... It's still a great power. And honestly, nothing else has really happened too much. Oh, look at that. There's South Africa here, too. Zulu is still in our sphere. Would you like an alliance, Zulu? Just in case. Um, Madagascar exists. German Asia looks great, except for this little group here. So, let's get them in our sphere, maybe. Because if we can do that, that'd be awesome. I kind of doubt we can, but we'll see what happens. Other than that, not much else. And I guess I'll see you when we go to war with another Eastern European nation. Ah, my friends. So, now it is time to end the existence of a certain... Nation here. They're a nationalist faction, but we're not going to call in any allies. The Japanese probably won't like us doing this to their puppet. 
Or I guess there's a little spheroling, but hey, that, you know, things happen. You know, just things happen. And, uh, Japan... Oh, Japan's not doing it? Okay. You know, it's weird when we... We're using gas. Um, send in 175,000 soldiers to take out 40,000 poles. Oh my gosh, I just, I just had a hundred... Wow, oh, hello. Um, no, I'm sorry guys, not really interested in that one. Uh, you guys will not be digging, dug into... Are you guys actually all going to... Block, 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 block. Follow them. A hundred thousand poles here, and... They don't have... Gas defense. Woo! Woo, baby! Oh, uh, these guys are a little bit more dug in, though. That's alright, once these guys are done... I mean, this is four armies, and I'm still, I'm still making more armies. I'm still making more. Actually, we can make another one right now. No, honestly, I've heard that tanks are okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I've heard that they're not bad. You know what? We'll throw all ten in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, that it's not always recommended to use a lot of tanks. I don't know. I just that's something that I've heard. I could be wrong about that, but that's something I've heard that you know you might actually want artillery instead of other stuff. So, um, yes, no. Circus Social Republic dishonored the military alliance with Armenia, okay? Also, uh, America wanted an alliance, so... We're allied with the Americans this time now. Um, are we allied? Uh, no, we are We are allied with the Turkish Socialist Republic. So, oh, also we are... We were allied with the Russians, but... Are we still allied? No, we're not. We and Also, the, they're no longer in the Soviet Union. They are the Pan-Slavic Reactionary Party. Go figure. Yeah, we beat Russia so hard that Chechnya is still here, and I'm trying to sphere them. As well as the Caucasian Inamat, also off-screen. Um, the Tuarza people said we have so much influence over them that they actually would be, they wouldn't mind being integrated into our lands. I could have annexed them. I could have to map paint, but we would have gotten two more infamy. So instead, I took, I lost two infamy by saying, no, nah, we're not going to annex you. Just kind of hang out. So, thought that was pretty cool. Um, also, oh, like, this is really awesome. I'm looking at the culture map mode. There's a lot of Swahili. There's a lot of Yao Makonde here. I know we're war, but look at Lindy. Lindy, Lindy proper. Literally, almost half of the entire population is German. Literally half. 50%. It's almost 50%. And there's some Flems down here, too. Actually, who's assimilating? Uh, Swahili, Ukrainians, Flems. The Flemish people are, are uh, assimilating. So almost half of the population in Lindy, in Africa, is German. That's insane. Literally a quarter here. 13%, 12%. I mean, I love Vicky, too, man. I love assimilation. Cool. And head on over to Pluck. Because now they have nowhere else to run. Oh, there's some militant socials. We we lost eleven thousand people. We just killed off seventy-two thousand individuals. That is insane. And also, we're trying to do more um, naval stuff too. So, suppress this. That's good. And up next, middle armament. Yeah, probably get more attack and stuff like that. Probably be pretty helpful. I mean, our our navy isn't looking too bad, but we just need time, I guess. I would say just more time. Um, you know, I'm kind of okay with. Okay, sure, Russia. Why not? Uh, what is this? Uh, originally found in 1862 as a Czech gymnastics movement in Prague, the Sokolov movement soon began to spread to further uh, other Slavic countries. While well, in theory a nonpartisan organization, the Sokolov movement was in practice an impromptu vehicle for the furthering of Czech nationalism and later on pan Slavic thought and ideology. The movement aimed to provide its members with comprehensive training in both mind and body, and its locales often acted as important forums for the dissemination of radical nationalist thought, for which it was several times suppressed by authorities. Well, why not? No, they don't do that there. And them rising up, I mean, we get rid of all, all the people who rise up, so I'm kind of okay with it sometimes. It gets very annoying at times regarding, like, just getting, getting rid of them, but... Eh. Alright, well, another 80,000. I mean, I get that the Poles aren't having a good time, but at the same time, like, still. Say capitalism? Sure. And they're all dead. Alright then, so, at this point, I don't think anyone else, else is really going to attack us. I, mean, I could be wrong, the Russians might attack, but there are allies now, even though they're going to get cooed again, probably, by the reactionaries, or Russians, or Romanians, yeah. The Russians are going to coup the Russians, probably. Uh, they got a lot of rebels down here, too. French, it's either fascists or... Oh. Wait, you declined their alliance, and then you, you want to go to war with them. What the heck? On oh, the Japanese, on the, that is disgusting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a lot of... Soviet fascists. We've already founded Nazbolism. Or National Bolshevism. Jesus Christ. Oh, I was still trying to get this group under us. It's going to take a while to do. They're a satellite of... Huh. Actually, we need to influence you too. I I'm trying to influence so many people. Like, way too many people here, actually. Um, yeah, I don't influence that group anymore. This is fine. Don't influence that anymore either. 
Uh, New Zealand. Actually, where are we with New Zealand? They're in the sphere. Yeah, don't even bother that then. Congo's fine. A lot of these other places are okay. Australia, no. Benin. Eh, it's fine for now, whatever. Uh, but yeah, we're trying to actually get this stuff done. We're at 91%. That's actually really good. Down here, uh, not too bad. And this is an actual state of ours, so that's actually really cool. Um, yeah, I just... I love Vicky too. I love it, but... Sometimes we gotta move on. Sometimes we have to. And what happened here? Alright, and, and they left. Alright, get rid of some more of these people. Great, great, great. Just because we're ex basically going to be using the English channel here as a way to launch into here, hopefully. Or, just because it's easier to go into here, maybe dig ourselves in a little bit. Um, I gotta make sure, I, I wanna remember, I do not wanna make the same mistake I made when I played the CSA, I believe. When we literally go into here and make sure we get a tile, well, maybe one of these won't be really good for defense. Actually, get, or just actually go to Scotland transport soldiers to Scotland, make them dig in, let them attack us, and we'll just be wiping them out. I gotta make sure Navy's really good, because this is our Navy. 30 transports, not bad. 26 capital ships, mostly dreadnoughts with a few battleships, well actually maybe a split between, and then 20 cruisers. That's not bad. I'm still trying to make more of these guys, but it's gonna take some time. We cannot make any more. Limited to one unit per each port that supports this type of ship, so battleships, bring them on. More battleships. Oh, hey Poland, what's up? Hey! Ah, that's such a German thing to do, take, getting rid of the poles. I love the poles. Nothing like a good pole, man. Um, other than that, I think I'm going to go to war with Belarus next, if possible. And then we'll end this campaign, probably going to war with uh, the UK. But before we do that, I'll probably do this at the end too. But our population is like 45% German, maybe? 10% of our population is just straight up Polish, so... And also, I do want to show you some uh, migrations. A lot of people are immigrating from here, or emigrating. So, 3,300 people are emigrating from here, mostly from, kind of, you know, Eastern European side of things. So, even down here, look at all that. They're just spreading out like cancer. But, we'll, I'll show you the full culture map mode in just a little bit. Well, you know what? I love Belarus. I love it so much, that I'm going to go to war with it, because there are a bunch of commies over there. And we take either Minsk or Orsha. I'm going to take Orsha, just because it's larger. Um, I'm going to call in our allies over here, too, just because we can. And, uh, yeah. Um, it would be nice to take Minsk, because we already have territory over here, but at this point, I'm going to take Orsha just because I like a striped Belarus, so, hey, we'll see what happens, man. We have a big old border with the Ukrainians. I'd love to ally them, but they will not ally us, which is a big disappointing thing, but whatever. Um, yeah, overall, this campaign's been a lot of fun. Then again, I guess we'll have to wait and see until I actually do go to war with the, uh, UK, so we'll see what happens with them, but it should be pretty quick. I'm still making more divisions. I mean, I've never, like, our... The cap on making divisions. We've never been able to reach it ever since we became the German Empire, so. Uh, maybe we should have thrown a few more divisions in here. A few more armies, actually. Um, probably not too bad, really. We could attack, I suppose. Our allies are helping us oh, over there, too. Also, we have some more guys down here. Uh, I need more horses. Why are we not making any horses? Well, time to make a few more horses. Let's go with... Uh, let's see... Do we have any Czech or Polish? We have some... Well, it seems sometimes these look like this. Uh, let's see where we at. Serbians? Romanians. We love Romanians here. We love Hungarians. We love more Hungarians and probably Poles. Yes, we love the Poles. And then some Poles. We love Poles. And some more French people. Awesome. Because we got enough infantry and stuff like that for now. Um, you guys head up there. You know, grab one more army. You guys from Denmark... Denmark lands, Danish lands, come up this way, please, please, please. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's only fifty thousand, but I'd rather be prepared. So, um, head on in, guys. I guess we're going to throw all three armies in. Should go okay. Could be wrong, but it should go okay. So, let's go on in and see what happens. Ah, we're losing a few thousand guys every single day, but not near as much as them. Wow, my, that was not great for us. But Minsk, yes, yes. Hey, thanks for helping us out, uh, Baltic people. Polish people want to revolt? I literally conquered all that territory earlier. I don't think so, my friends. I don't think so. Um, You know how to do it with Polish revolts, right? Also, we're not even maxed out on like spending for the military, but whatever. And we're still trying to research more stuff for our Navy. Like, it's, it's insane how much you can research for the Navy, which makes sense. I mean, we're tiny rules of ways, but not for long. Not until I come over and stomp on all their divisions or all their fleets, so. Clearly, education, we're going to that. Look good. More comprehensive. I believe the resources could be spent better spent somewhere else now. More comprehensive education. More literacy. Chechnya? Yes, please. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, guys. You've done great. You got hit pretty bad when assaulting those guys over there, but whatever. 
Um, really, what's going to make or break our run? Uh, no, oh, I almost clicked on that. Uh, against the Brits is just the navy. It's literally just the navy. That's it. Um, if that's the case, though, more dreadnoughts, more battleships, and I'm going to assume that all of our ships are going to get blown up. So there you go, making more ships. I don't care what it costs. Uh, seriously, I really don't care. Spend more money if you have to. It doesn't matter. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you very much, United Baltic Duchy. We appreciate your efforts. Uh, check us in the mail. Mm, maybe. And no. Cool. You guys are not looking great. Come on over here. And then you guys are almost done too. Awesome. I'll send you there and I'll send you right here just in case. Ukraine. Uh, took a Socialist Republic wants to Ukraine. I see. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, we're done with the Navy for now. Let's get some aeronautics, shall we? More, a lot more organization, which is very good. Uh, this stuff is 1919. It's 1918. We'll be close to getting all this stuff done. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens, though. But can we actually peace out with these guys yet? Yeah. Thank you. Now, this looking... Why did I make this so striped? I don't understand. Why did I do this? <laughs> Why did I do it like this? Cool. And I did want to do this. Annex Champasak. With the end of the last world I am, we are in a position to demand the chap Pasak about to annex it into a colony into China. Ah, we got the infamy. Ah, that sucks. But let's organize laws. We should organize the Laotian colonies to better reflect both the local structure as well as set up the possibility for autonomous rule. Dominated by our benevolent colonial administrators, of course. Beautiful. It's the production of Laos. Now that Laos is fully in our hands, the opportunity to shift its production out of agriculture for the internal market to an exportation-driven model was put forward by several German companies in Vienna. Discussions began with several companies putting forward proposals on what to focus and what to increase or incentivize. From the jungles of Southeast Asia, a new era for agriculture in Laos provinces are dawning. Companies know as best, tropical wood, coffee, tea, uh, tea and tobacco, rubber, ooh, rubber, tropical wood. Coffee is a rare commodity. Well, what are we what, what are we making in Laos? You know, that's a good question. Oh, that's so beautiful. Except for the British stain that is right here. And I, we still have only 14 infamies, which is really, really good. At this point, um, I kind of prefer... Actually, which one's better? Grassland Hills gives you mo no more defense. How about this area here? That's really bad. Uh, actually, everyone come here to Hanoi. Is that... No, that's Grassland Hills. Uh, everyone come up here. Ooh, maybe not. Mm, yeah, we'll do it in this area. Just because when we get attacked, because I'm going to ignore these groups, um, just you guys just converge here. Lua Pro Bang Bang Laos. So they got agriculture. So this is Lua Pro Bang, Vientiania, and Paxe. I, I'm sorry, I don't speak any Vietnamese. Loatian, so there's that one. And then, not that one. Um, oh, right there, too. Oh, you need. Oh, you absolutely need robots. Yeah, what they have currently right there is not that great. We have slaves here. They got some coffee. Coffee, tea, and tropical wood. I kind of want rubber, though. Rubber would be really nice. Tropical wood, tropical wood, rubber. I'll do that one. I think that'd be okay. Anything else? Probably not. We've got the gold standard. And I think up next, it'll probably be a war between us and the Brits. My gosh, Russia. You still have Soviet and militant fascists like crazy. Like that? That's insane. But, see you just a little bit. Welp, everyone. It's April 13th, 1919. In which, right now, uh, I've put some divisions near Romania. Just because they are allied to the UK... Um, other than that, we should be pretty much ready to go. The Ukrainian Democratic Hungarian Party. UDAP. Alright, cool. Can we form an alliance now? That'd be really cool. Can we get actually any alliance with anybody before... No, these people all hate me. Um, before we go to war with the UK. Uh, Gibraltar, or Spain, is liberal. You guys are... Uh... Oh, yeah. That wouldn't be too bad. That would not be too bad. And actually, we're going to go to war for Canada. Why? Well, I wanted something a little bit different, just because I always take land, and, I don't know, taking a puppet was one of the most expensive things f that you can do in Vicky 2, so I figured I want to be a little bit different. I want to personally rule over Canada, and right now, oh, that is not good. Starting a war now would be probably be pretty bad. Oh, we have no social spending. Okay, now we do. Okay. Cool. That, I'll uh, give it a few days. It's, uh, it's kind of a mixed bag for the economy right now. Of course, we're max betting that stuff anyways. Maybe we'll just a little bit more. If we need, like, 5% tariffs or something, that's fine. Wow, 5% tariffs gives us 3,000 pounds. Jesus Christ. Uh, but anyways, we're pretty much good to go. We got 99 ships here. I want to see what happens. That's probably going to be really bad, so. Um, basically, I think it's going to be World War II. 
So I want to take Canada because it is a like ranked. It's very ranked very very high. So um, Chechnya will not accept, which is makes sense. Traza, Transcaucasia, Sulu, United Baltic Duchies or Baltic provinces, I guess. Uh, Portugal will not accept. Interesting. Lombardy, of course, will. Crimea, Greece. Uh, the Turkish Social Republic says no. Venezuela says no, but the U.S. base says yes. That's what you gonna get, son. Um, we try to ally you, but you said no, so. All right, boys. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> so now we're finding the Japanese, the UK, and its puppets. Norway and, uh, and Romania it becomes the Great War. So let's go in, in, boys, and see what happens. Okay, we immediately killed seven ships. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, we can get some airplanes, and we're doing modern army doctrine as well. Battleship attack and, and uh, dreadnought attack, good. Because now we're gonna send you guys to Scotland. See what we can do. And also, I don't care about the colonies, I'll be honest. Like, there's a lot of guys down there, but whatever, you know. And over here, same thing. Whatever. Oh, actually. Get over there. Uh, let's see here. Go and combine, anyways. And Lindy's looking great. I love it. Like I showed you guys earlier, it's literally 50% German. That's so cool. Um, and oh, also down here, like, they'll probably invade, but, eh, whatever. Things happen. Actually, that's a quarter German. That's actually really cool. Anything else? Nope. All right. Get those guys on the boat. And, oh, oh, uh, you guys end up to Scotland. Oh, hello, hello, we found some sort of navy. Where are their armies? We're going straight to Inverness. Actually, is that, oh, that is a port, that'd be really good to get. Come on over. Um, also, France and Italy are killing each other for Savoy again, so. I let them come through my lands just because, why not, so. Take all but one, I want one of you guys to go here. Hello. And the Lombardians have shown up. Great. The Japanese, I'm not, I'm not sure what to say about that. It's just, it's very weird. <laughs> very strange. So now we got to bait these guys into attacking us. Nice. Bucharest. Uh, don't do all those guys. We're going to need some guys to take out Norway, should probably. Now that's nice, armored citadels, because we have like a ton of dreadnoughts and battleships, so that would be really great. Venezuela and Qing Empire. Well, you know what? You want an alliance? You're going to come in now then. Why am I always allying with commies? <laughs> that's my question. Um, oh, and you could get spawned out, huh? Alright. Partially westernized. Alright, well, you want an alliance. I don't know what they're expecting, but okay. And this is Grassland Hills, which is pretty bad to defend in. Man, Scotland does not have mountains, do they? All they have are hills up here? Well, Inverness is usually pretty good to get... Hello! Well... And here we go. Actually, what... They... Oh, wow, minus five? They must have just got rid of the entrenchment. Um, oh, we just dropped those guys off. That's good. All right, then. Well, we got to funnel in a lot more guys then. Uh, keep getting some guys from here. That'll be fine. How's Romania doing? It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We're ready to go. I should have sent a general with actually like a really good skill on defense. Hey, more attack and defense for airplanes. Very cool. Apologies if the music's too loud. Sometimes the game's very excited. Also, Russia turned fascist. Yeah, or, yeah, pretty much. Not sure what else to say about that. Minus three terrain. Minus one for crossing. My goodness. And, oh, you already deployed. Great, 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 great. We're losing a lot of money, but that's why we built up large stockpiles. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Let's see how many British boys we can kill off. Also, since we're at war, can we actually dismantle them? Yes. So it's 45 for that, and how much for 19? Oh, that's good. 19 is really good. There you go. War's bonus. We shall be victorious. 100%, man. 100%. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, what? Yeah. Oh, my God. You actually left. Oh, that's going to kill that army off. That sucks. And over here, well, what's actually going on over here? Sorry, Crimea. 
Don't really care right now. We got we got much bigger things to deal with right now. All right. I just want Inverness, man. Leave me alone. I just want north the northern tip of Scotland. That's all I want. Me and some coffee here. You know, that's all we want. Any my enemy? Let's see. Now that we're in the state of total war, the idea has risen that the German Empire should approach Shogun of Japan's armies or enemies to see if there's any of those who join our side against them. This may mean unholy alliance with those who might never fight at our side otherwise, but as the old saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. If we were to win a war against Shogun of Japan, we might take it to heart. Okay, we've received word from the Qing Empire that they've agreed to an alliance. Finally, after they rejected us. Whether or not they'll actually live up to that alliance to join us in that war remains to be seen. Qing relations. Our relations with the Qing Empire has worsened to the point that members of the government have begun to campaign to reduce or even eliminate German influence. Some of our diplomats have fled, and now we're faced with the unpleasant prospect of either forcing and forcing our interests or suffering embarrassment at our inability to manage a former ally. Defend our interests? Oh my gosh, that's so much prestige. Screw I'm going to do that one. We're still, we're still number one, so. Oh, we have more Germans than they do now. That's actually really good. Um, actually, do you, get, you don't get any shore bombardment, right? Because that would be really cool if you could actually get some shore bombardment. But I guess not. i got to pay attention a little bit more to uh, Romania right now. Oh, well, maybe not. They're all dead. Huh. Um, Norway, I guess. Technically, we could do them. So someone guy up there. One guy. You stay down here. Stay down here. You never know what might happen. Uh, I don't want you to keep it here, too, just in case. And our border with the French isn't looking great, but they're a little bit too... My gosh. They're just killing each other so hard. I mean, it's fine with us, but still. Just kind of hang out, guys. And you guys probably all died here, right? Oh, look at that. Dodger Bay, huh? Or Dodger Bank. They're throwing so many more boys in. Holy crud. Actually, uh, you guys can still go. Uh, no, we're going to wait a little bit. Just because I want to get them a little bit more uh, healing up first. Or healing up repair. <laughs> Alright, not bad. Get him on that boat. Oh, we have some armor here, too. Look at that. He's pretty good on... Oh. Oh, that's in, uh... Like, Southeast Asia. Suck those mountains, Britain. There we go. We got even more guys in now. Come on back down. Uh, you guys stay there. You guys go there. Cool. Actually, don't even do that. Just let the chips come in. So much easier to do it like that. Is there anywhere else here? Uh, they're they're just mobilized. So unfortunately for you all, you're mobilized. Actually, I'm much sure to get Aberdeen. You know, we could try it. It's probably a really bad idea. But have some coffee. Why not? This the battle that's currently waging here. I'm not too worried about it at all. Oh, and they're going to take us here too. Well, that was a bad idea. Oh, well. Even though, I should, uh, I should have paid attention. He's not, he's okay on attack. But we're pretty much good on defense too, so. It's alright. Um, there you go. Oh, some other people have been called in. Caucasian... Imamnate. I was trying to do that to you guys. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. I was trying to, you know, give them into our sphere, but I guess not. Whatever. Drop them. Drop them, drop them. Oh, we'll get more digging cap. Oh, wow. Blew up our bang. We lost 30,000, but we killed off 110,000. Is that really a defeat? Technically, yes, but no. Great work experience would be pretty good. Um, let's grab this. We get more attack and defense. Oh, these guys landed. Nice. Nice stuff. Probably gonna need more armies, honestly. By the way, everything's going on here. Congo time. Ah, of course, there are commies down there in the Congo. Nice. Straight to Dover. Good job, guys. Where's the main British fleet? I don't understand. Oh! And we've now equaled their divisions. As long as we don't have to uh, mobilize, I'll, we'll be kind of okay-ish. Uh, that's okay. There's the taxes just a little bit more, maybe. Help offset the deficit. I don't want to lower spending on this stuff, because it's costing us so much, man. 
Tariffs for now. Tariffs for now. It sucks, I know. Anti-Colonial League. Denounce the League. Yeah, I'm not even going to read that. No, thank you. Oh, did you guys already get in? Oh, did I? Oh. Well, then. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good over here, too. Oh, God. Election. Oh, and the throwing more guys. Well, I really want to see how many boys are going to slaughter. Hey, more attack and defense. Nice, nice, nice. Firepower versus mobility. Yeah, look at that. 34 capital ships. That's just ridiculous. This battles. These battles, man. Oh, they're dropping. Oh, my, they're dropping four to five thousand every day. What the heck happened? Um, Slovak poet. Nope. They're dropping like flies around here. Can I not pick you up? Where did they go? They must have already went in. That's fine. Yeah, uh, honestly, like this battle, I'm not worried about that. We shouldn't need the reinforcements at all anymore. This one, we're actually doing pretty okay as well. I want to give it a little bit of time first. I might actually just blockade him just a little bit, so. Give him some time. Um, other than that, I'm not really too worried about that. Oh, the Puerto Rican showed up. Okay. Well, you guys. Um, Great War Capitulation. If we do that, they're just going to come back anyway, so. Oh, hello. I didn't even realize they're over here. Oh, that makes sense then. Alright, boy. You want to do this type of crap? Let's go, boys. We got some Brits to get rid of. 13, 13, 12. 22, I mean. 22. You know what? This guy should be good enough to go, right? We're going in. Find the high seas fleet. Go suck a fat one, Britain. I'm going to bomb the crap out of your ships. We just lost two. They've been losing oh, quite a few. You got nowhere to turn to, boy. You're on our turf. Oh, that's not good. We have no commander. Jesus Christ, that's really bad. <laughs> we keep losing a few more transports. That's okay. Come on, Bryn. Do something. Hey, there you go. Nice. How do we not have a commander? Jesus Christ, guys. Where were you before? Chechnya? Ah, uh, screw Chechnya. Had a war goal? Nah, we're, we're good. Um, and We're still way above the Brits right now. Very nice. And I guess the America Socialist Party. Alright, Russia is... Well, struggling. You know it's bad when Sweden's a great power. And the French are now fascist. Okay. Would you all like to come into the war? Oh, they will not accept. That sucks. Whatever. Oh, we still do Chechnya. Okay. Well, y'all gonna starve there, so I'm not sure what you want, but okay. I mean, even without reinforcing right now, we're still looking very good here. All right. So with this, uh, I don't want this 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 side terra, so I'm gonna ten percent maybe. Lower the terrace, and you know what? Lower the spite a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. Not too much. Protectionism's fine. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not going to go in yet. And I definitely want to heal up these ships a little bit. Repair, repair, repair. Come on, guys. You wanted to, you wanted to come here, so... Lewis. Lewis. Oh, the talk's solid. That's nice. Hey! You looking pretty good here? We'll be looking a little better here in just a little bit. They threw more guys, which is fine, whatever. Uh, huh, alright. We have 100,001 men there. Just dropping them off in Scotland. Jesus. Well, hello. You wanted to do something here? Let the United Baltic Provinces and Dutchy do stuff. Conservatives won. Alright. Oh, Britain, Britain, Britain. Or UK, UK, UK. Or uck, 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 uck. However you want to call them. Alright, they're looking pretty good. I think it's time to send these guys out somewhere else. So, Alright, here we go. Anywhere else we need to be keeping an eye on? No, looking pretty good. Oh, hello. The Ukrainians are fighting the Turkish Socialist Republic, huh? Looking pretty bad over there, but whatever. France and the Italians are still just killing each other like crazy. There you go. 
Um, we're gonna need a few more ships. So actually, just you build up like a bunch of tra troop transports. It takes a week to build, so that's like nothing. Build one too. Actually, since we're gonna do that too. All right. So do we need more spare soldiers? <clears throat> Let's see. This is not too bad. There you go. Yeah, we do. Awesome. Got another army here. Great. Hello. We're coming back. We haven't forgotten about you. We just had other things to do. They just threw another 180,000 more men in. That is insane. Hey, look, more attack and defense. Thank you very much. Human wave versus spearhead. British Swedish summit. Well, they already are my allies, so we'll see what happens. Hey, yeah, more artillery stuff. Modern. Uh, this would be pretty good to do, but I think we we'll do this one first. Less supply consumption, more attack and defense, and such like that. That's always good stuff. One of these battles has got to quit out first. Battle of Aberdeen. They're almost out of horses. We got plenty of horses. We need more infantry, probably. Korean th Korea is a. Oh, Korea exists. I mean, I'm not sure what these guys want. Like, I want Canada and dismantle you. That's all I want, guys. That's literally all I want. Um. We can come over here. We can refresh this guy a little bit more. Oh, more attack. He has more support. Yeah, please. Armenia. Um, I'm not sure how good you'd be in a war, but... <clears throat> yeah, okay. And Romania probably has no industry. Yep, they literally have no industry. And fourth is German curricula. Oh, whoa! Arusha. We lost 45,000 people versus a quarter million. Literally a quarter million. See, that's why I put them in mountains. Was that worth it? You tell me. Was that worth it? A quarter million just died there. Me, yes, absolutely. And America's doing a great job. Thank you, America. We love America here. They took out all of Canada. Rebellion in our allied Paraguayan government. They're not worth it. We lose some prestige. I don't want to get any more infamy, so. Not bad. It's unfortunate that we just gotta wait to do this stuff. So, anyways. Um. Hmm. 37% of the way there. What else can we take? Free, what are free allied cores? Oh, in these places? Nah, it's not worth it. They could release Australia, actually. Can I take Australia? That's only four infamy. So we can take Australia and Canada? Oh, that'd be... Yes, let's try that. I'll try that one. That's kind of nice. Alright, looks like... Uh... I mean, just waiting. That's all it is. Just literally just waiting here for these guys to finish off. Probably make more armies, too. Von Kirkbach. Alright, looks like the, the French are probably going to win this war. No guarantees, though, but you never know. <clears throat> plus three attack. Plus one defense. Not great in defense, but you guys... Okay, Paraguay keeps shifting ideologies. This, they're just a bunch of nutheads. A bunch of crazies, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, what do people want? Low safety? Sure, why not? You guys can have it. Now that's nice. They have less soldiers than us. Very good. Um, acquire Oh, wait! The Italians actually won! I thought the French were winning! <clears throat> Okay. Oh, more tankette stuff. Nice. He wants to be nice to you? Well, then you should have accepted my alliance. Sure, Persia. Sure. You want to come in the war? Take out some Japanese territory? Okay, then. It's up to you. Oh, yeah. Now they're both... Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Please don't reinforce. At least let us win one of these battles first. Hmm. It's dropping like by three a day. Holy crap. Or at least for a while it was. <clears throat> oh, we're about to win. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I want to see the... i got to see the casualties for this one. They're dropping like flies over here, too. Oh, my... Wow. We lost 80,000 Germans in exchange for 1.1 million Brits. 1.1 million. That's nuts. Um... You know what? Give me this one. 
completely surround this other army. You have nowhere to retreat. I mean, basically, I think we just, we just won the war, right? No, we did not. Okay. After 1.1 million. Are, are you not done yet, Britain? Alright, alright. You know, they have their, you know, things that they want to do. Alright, so be it. Oh, hello. They have a ship over there. Well. Nice. Oh, look at that. Hey, ships. Yes. All but you. I don't down to Glasgow. Oh, that's a big navy. 30 and 23. Oh, boy. 30 and 19 and 36. Ooh. We actually might lose here, then. Nope. <laughs> we left 3,000 to do this. All right, then. Great war experience time. 42, huh? Dismantle constructions. Eh, that's fine. We're at 60. It's not bad. They're still, they're still fine over here. Um, that's the case. I'm going to send you back up here just because we probably could use you up there. I think it's right there. Hope we'll do well here. I doesn't mean they're like 30 dreadnoughts, of course. But you never know. Um, send you back here too. Just so you can just... No, 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 no. Defend, defend, defend. Because they might pop out there. Oh, crap. We're losing ships like crazy. We ran... Oh, they ate so many transports. 31, 29, 19, 18. Oh, we're getting close. This is the battle that'll really decide what we're going to do. 17 ships over here with the Dreadnought. That's not enough. Um, cruisers are fine, too. Fine vehicles. Keep sinking them. Oh, we've almost won. We've almost won. Their organization's so low. Oh, we lost the Battle of Galati. Oh, hello. When did you guys show up? That's why I sent... Get, get these guys here. Alright, Bryn. You wanna die? Too bad we can't gas them. Hey, there you go. That's what you get, you piece of garbage. Where are they headed to? The Yasi? Um... Hmm... Let them go for now. Let the... Yeah. Let's let the Italians do it. But... We're gonna turn this into an ash heap. Come on. You've almost won, guys. There you go. We lost 31 ships, which is insane. But whatever. Um... Come to Glasgow. Why not? Repair. Hmm... We could attack them, but that's pretty dangerous. We need another army to attack them, so I'll send these two guys over for now. Oh, UK, you thought you had the chance to win. Uh, no, love you. I think we're okay for now. Alright, come on. How's this battle still going on, man? One, two... Three. Just keep it there and you'll be good. You'll be golden. <laughs> They're repairing. We're, we can literally just see each other's ships just repairing with each other. That's funny. Alright. Oh, you guys are here too? Alright, go in and go in. Go in, go in. Oh, that, that was about right there. Okay. We lost a lot of guys, but kill them all off. I don't care. Um, go in there too. I don't care. Yeah, we, they must have sent everybody. Because there's no, no one else here. Sabotage. Alright, not bad. Send them all in too. We will not rest until they all die. No matter how many casualties it may cost us. Oh, oh, look at that. So, that was a battle here. And this one was a battle of Inverness. They lost, not a million, but they lost almost 900,000 men in exchange for 68,000. That is absolutely insane, but we're going to full siege them down now. Full siege down the UK, which we almost never do at this point. Wales? No, no, no. Wales will be but a dream. Oh, 
What's coming down, boys? What are you guys doing there? Um, since you repaired, come over here first, and we're gonna actually like add more ships. Oh, nice, just Liverpool, very good. Go for London. We're going straight for London. Oh, yeah, they actually have guys here. Go to Lincoln. Not bad, not bad. Hey. And they're going to head to... Oh, they're dead. Yay! Send you guys back over here. You never know where the French might attack. Oh, oh, they're, oh, they're not dead yet. I thought they were. Yeah, they're more attack and defense. Great. Virgil, you already said no, so goodbye. My god, just surrender, UK. Oh, look at all these guys. That's good. Um, yep, yeah, go to London. Screw it. We're going to London. Uh, go around London first. Oxfordshire, or Oxford, I guess? Just Oxford. Nice. We're headed to... Oh, the industry. Nice. Anyone else? Are they fully dead now? Hopefully, thank God. You will not invade mainland Europe. The continent. Wales will die. I almost never fully siege down Britain. But I almost never get to the point where we kill off every single one of them. Usually they peace out after we kill off you know, a few million of them in battles. But I guess not this time around. Yeah, they can siege down my colonies all they like. But if your hometown, your, your actually home country, is like burning because we're raising it to the ground, then that's a them problem. Nice. Full siege it down, baby. And we're going to go to Ireland next. Screw the Irish. Oh, hello. You wanted to come back with some Irish boys. Ah, uh, what a mistake. What a mistake, man. I'll give him one more month. Oh, they got a bigger navy now. Well, so do we. 31, huh? Fascist trade unions? Um, I don't care. They're going to be. I really don't care. Drop them. Nice. Oh, no, 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 We're not done yet. I will destroy the UK fully in its entirety. Are you actually going... No, don't do that. Go in. Don't let him... Oh, I well, got the Irish. It's fine. Well, it looks like airships are not doing very well, are they? A little bit of lag, whatever. Nice. German schools. Of course, we'll have to enforce the German curriculum. Oh, I don't want to because we can. Oh, now they're dropping. Now they're dropping. That's good. Kill every last British ship you see. Ah, this isn't this beautiful. This is beautiful. Their industrial score is way too high right now. We got to full siege them down. Full siege them down. Oh man, they're coming back. They're, not, they're doing quite some damage to us too. Oh, they ran transport cell, so that's good. Uh, getting pretty laggy. Nope. We'll siege you down. Four percent. At least we got it. Is he going defense? No, he's only going to attack. There you go. We lost forty ships. I'm not sure you could really call that a victory, but whatever. Um. I still have a ton of ships there. Jesus Christ. Give us some time. You know what? Let's give us some time. Congo and Paraguay. Thirty-four hundred. They were at 4,000 just recently. 3484. I'm, we're waiting to just drop that industrial score. 3440. It's dropping every single day. That's so nice. We'll be done with them soon enough. Armenia. Sure. Come on in. Oh, I gotta love it when you fully siege your country down. Oh, man, look at that. It's, it's dropping like crazy. 
Warbite's going to be creating Kaiserreich here, even though the fa the French are fascists instead of a uh, syndicalists or whatever. And the Brits are screaming, "No, no, peace us out!" And we say, "No, no." Oh, I knew there was going to be a crisis. Marrakesh, huh? <clears throat> Less than 2,000 in industrial score. Nope. This is what, this is what you wanted, guys. I'm, I'm just trying to oblige what you wanted. Oh, okay. Well, alright. Um, Bantu, huh? Uh, you know what? No, none of you guys wanted to help me out, so... I want to see that to be zero. Oh! 1623. Oh, it's going up a little bit more. I mean, they still have Northern Ireland, but still. Well, we might just have to peace out then. Let's see. 1624. Yeah, it's still slowly going up, I guess, a little bit. Nope. Hey, there we go. Nice. And nice. I'm sure they got you know industry other places, but no, 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 no. All right, Ireland, you wanted to join them in the war, so nope. Cool. Not bad. It's been a pretty fun campaign. Thinking out the UK has been a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Sometimes it can be a pain in the butt, but this time pretty good. Pretty darn good. And they're coming out to attack us now. Uh, they actually might win this battle, so. Naval integration? Hmm. Eh, I don't think we're going to lower the score anymore. Go and do that one. It's fine. Um, actually, you know what? I, I want to give you the peace deal. I want to see everything here. They would accept all this. Papa Canada, Australia, forced to dismantle the empire. Cool. After millions, literal millions dead, the return of our colonies. With the recent defeat of a colonial power, our claims to one of our colonies they own and once again are at the spotlight. The international community at large agree that these colonies should be returned to the German government. We just need to make sure they the necessary steps to get them back. Africa's farms and mines, very nice. Organized Vietnam's production. Introducing coffee and large-scale tea cultivation in suitable places in Vietnam will allow us to better take advantage of the potential of Vietnam, increasing our income, and leading to more profitable endeavors. Coffee? Mmm, I want more rubber, but you know what? They know what to do. Awesome. And my friends, we've won the war. And off screen, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, like, make sure we transfer everyone over, and we'll see what the effects are of this deal very soon. Oh, look at that! We even have Tenjinika! We actually got Tenjinika! Cool! See you in just a little bit! And here we are my, at my friends, in which, well, I was hoping for the UK to, like, disassemble, but I didn't. Um,. I don't understand why. Vicky 2 HPM is so weird, but we have Japanese. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. Um, the Russians got a lot of territory. I don't know why. That literally makes no sense why Russia would get any territory, really, in Africa from the British holdings just because they weren't in the war. I called them in, or I didn't even call them in. Like, they got Sierra Leone, they got Ghana, they got Ethiopia and Somalia land, and just. and Yemen. This literally makes no sense, because they weren't even in the war, so I don't agree with that at all. Like, these guys... I mean, we could beat the crap out of them if we really wanted to, but I don't really feel like it. America kind of got the short end in the sick. We have German Canada, though, which is very cool. Um, they're actually... I got a little event that's saying that they will be our vassal, which is 100% true. Um, we also have Australia with us, too. They're not our vassal, which is kind of disappointing, but... They're still under us, and they're led by the Australian Labour Party. And we also have Southeast Asia. I could have taken India, but that would have resulted in, like, 10.3 more infamy, and I can't... And we can't do that right now, so... And I tried, and they wouldn't even, like, become, like, a vassal or anything, so... They're independent, so... It is what it is. They must love us because we gave them the freedom. But we did take Burma. We got all of Southeast Asia, too, so... Not too bad. Um, this is actually really cool. 31% of the population is German. That's awesome. Um, we took a little bit of uh, Africa here, which, you know, honestly, I don't know why Russia got this. It doesn't make any sense. I would probably fight them before, but... It is what it is. Other than that, not too much has really changed here. I'm still trying to transport some armies back to the mainland... 
and trying to put them around different places, but we got some events to do, such as... Actually, what is this one? National Banking Act? I guess I never did that one, but I've done that one before, it's okay, whatever. Uh, the Schwabing Circles. During the reign of Prince Regent Lutipold, the Schwabing's area of Munich became known probably due in large part to a large university and student presence as a bohemian hub of intellectual activity, drawing to it many modernist artists and authors, from the brothers Mann to Hendrik Ibsen to Vasily Kadinsky, supporting the Schwabing Circles and Watch a Prestige Rise. Cool. And the new Schwanstein's castle. It is a 19th century Romanesque revival palace on a rugged hill above the village of Hohenschwagau. The place was, or the palace was commissioned and uh, paid out of his personal fortune by King Ludwig II of Bavaria, the Swan King. I was a retreat and homage to Richard Wagner. The palace was intended as a personal refuge for the reclusive sovereign. It, said that, it is said that from his bedroom in Hohenschwangau, Ludwig trained a telescope on a ridge to keep an eye on Neuschwanstein as it was being constructed. Cool. Other than that, not much else has really happened here. So, um, that's going to be pretty much the campaign. Now, I'm going to show you the score. I mean, there's a score for everybody right now. We're number one. We're absolutely number one. The UK is still number two, closely followed by America. So, their industry is still very good, unfortunately, but whatever. Um, America is going to catch up, hopefully, someday. Maybe not. Uh, the military is smaller than that of America. Obviously, like, with 7,700 7, score, having Venice with us is a great, obviously, also like a capital. Bohemia, Slovakia... Actually, a lot of this industrial score, it's not even like North Germany at all. It's just like our original holdings when we played as Austria, when we started out as Austria. Japan got hit hard. Netherlands has the Congo in their sphere, the Swedish. The French are barely eking it out in, tenth, in ninth place. So, uh, actually, what is the ranking here? So, Switzerland is ninth power in the world. That's bad when Switzerland's ninth power. And then Portugal's tenth, followed by the Ukraine, the Qing Empire, and Lombardia. Lombardia is 13th. People's Republic of. Well, huh. Alright, cool. And I do want to show you, like, the population here. So, the total of our population is, like, barely, four, not even 41% German. That's insane. 13% is other. 8.8% .8 is Polish. 6.6% .6 is North Italian. Hungarians, not even 5%. So, we got a lot of different people here. And the total population of the country is 345 million people. But I do want to show you the culture map mode as well. So, obviously, it looks pretty normal for where... Where we have stuff. Oh, actually, Venda's actually lower than North Germany. That's pretty good, actually. All the if you're Polish, most likely you are living within our borders, which is actually really cool. Um, this is actually fully, almost fully Polish. A part of this places are pretty Polish. Some North Germans. Um, a little disappointed that I couldn't get any more South Germans. I wish we could like assimilate more people more quickly and stuff. But you have to edit the game files, which I've done before. But not for this campaign. Um, over here is still pretty. Actually, it's not too bad. Forty percent. Also, before we keep going on, I want to show you that a lot of people are leaving Germany. I mean, I've spent, we're spending a lot on social spending for unemployment, but a lot on pensions. It is what it is. Um, so, people are still leaving, people are still going around, but let's go back to this. Because this area is majority German, barely. That's okay, because we still have, like, th this map mode doesn't show you the full pic uh, picture. Because if you come to Audiens, there's a sliver of Germans here. And Nancy, there's a sliver of Germans. And Verdun has quite a few Germans, and it's increasing. If we were to continue this campaign, eventually we'd have quite a few Germans here. Um, Picard and French, of course. I mean, there's Germans all over the place. Like, literally just Germans everywhere. Um, Valonia Arlon. <coughs> Lee Walden. Uh, and we'll, we'll check out the colonies, too, because there's quite a significant majority of Germans, or minority of Germans, all over the place, so. Uh, let's see, what else? <coughs> Down here, and, ooh, look at that. Eisenstadt, or, I guess, Sopron. Eisenstadt is now majority German. I thought it would just be, like, majority Hungarian, but whatever. Um, the Sudan land is fully, definitely majority German, which is awesome. Even Prague is a significant German minority. This was never German, actually, when we began, I'm pretty sure. Zalegerseg? Now it's almost halfway German, so which is really cool. Uh, this is still fairly Italian. A lot of the Italian places are still Italian, but... Like, as you can see, there's, like I said, a, there's a significant minority of Germans in certain areas, so... And there's also some French here, too. Um, this place... Where was it? Oh, no, this place... Oh, okay. This place used to be much more German, I think. There's one of these problems. I think it was Temsvar that used to be much more German, but now I guess we got Serbians. There's just a lot of different people here. Um, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Oh, was it Novi Sad? I mean, there's Germans here, too. It says it's majority Serbian, which is true, but there's a huge minority of Germans here. Germans down here in Slavonia. So, that's why it's good to actually show you, like, individual provinces. Just because there's so many Germans all over the place that... Even down here, it's 10% German and German Montenegro, insane. Um, even Romania, not maybe not too much Romania, but like it was 1%. That's some gypsies here too. 
Actually, we made a unit out of gypsies. Oh, look at that. 20%, 21% German, which I think is great. Um, other than that, uh, there's not too much else here. Like, yeah, I've, actually, I've, I've enjoyed this campaign. I'll show you some of the places down here, too. Look at this. Lindy is majority South German. 33%. A total of 50% of the population here in Lindy is German. That's insane. Look at that. We've got a significant German minority here, too. Uh, T Tonga. Um, obviously, a lot of these places don't have it just because we conquered them, but, like, even here... here I, I'm sorry. I'm just, like... I love seeing this stuff. Like, seeing how cultures convert and, like, become different cultures is awesome. So, obviously, we took a lot of stuff there. Not really change too much over there. Uh, German Africa. We just took this cell. But already 11% German. We just literally took this stuff. And 11% German too. I'll shoot it for, for if we get Uruguay. Look at that. Part of no, what was Uruguay is now North German. Literally 41% of the population here is German over here. Over here it is 26%. Over here it's probably like 15 or you know, 11. So that's awesome, 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 awesome. And, uh, oh, that's your Indonesia's heavily melee. Oh, did we get... Ah, oh, we did get this. Yes, we did get this too. Awesome, awesome. We got Singapore. That's cool. Very cool. A lot of it's melee. Obviously, it's not going to be very German since we literally just took it, but still. Um, but over here, like Saigon, 8% German. Over here, it's like, you know, 17% German. Down here, not too much. Not too much. Kanapot is 30% German. That's insane. Over here, too, 30% German. So Germans, are, they love Southeast Asia. Literally, 50% German. And Stong Trang. We're literally displacing the native population here. Like, look at all the Germans over here. So many Germans. Um, so, this has been awesome. I love it. If you just gotta keep increasing the bureaucracy here. Taiwan is free because they were a German, not, no, they were a UK puppet. Or they were under UK, the Koreans are here. So, yeah, overall, I've enjoyed this campaign quite a lot. Um, it definitely wasn't the way I wanted it to go. I have to play as Austria again someday, just so that, uh, because I want to play as Austria-Hungary, so we can make the Danubian Federation someday, but... That's going to be very far from this campaign, but I think that's pretty much what I wanted to show you all. I think this has been very successful. Hope you enjoyed it as well as, as much as I have. Here are here's the cultures, of course, once more time. Population density. Very dense in Prague. Very, very dense. 2.4 million people. But, hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow at the Republican Party, in which I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.